My guys and girls, day 21 of the 30 day challenge. We're still going strong. If you know me, you know I don't like to lose and I'm not missing a day the whole 30 days. With that being said, if you haven't already liked, subscribe and hit the notification, I feel like you really like, you really not even like, like you really watching this video, you're not supporting. Like, come on, bro, it's free, bro. It's free, it's free, come on. All right, FL Studio, let's go. Three, two, one. We can, yeah, we can start on A, it don't really matter, bro. All right, that sounds good to me. Strum. I want to copy this over here, maybe move these a little lower. Now let's go ahead and press Alt S to strum these. And then let's shorten these up like that. Okay, so this is our MIDI so far. All right, let's see if we can get some more notes in here, man. Want them to connect, mm -mm 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 -mm. and then again over here. Alt-S. Octave up. Okay, not bad. Let's press Alt-R just to randomize these notes. And I'm going to bring the velocity down just a little bit.
and maybe add a, a top line over here. Let's go ahead and just copy that. Oh. Let's go control down. So FL keys can go. And I want to add another bass line here. But what I'm going to do with this bass line, I'm going to control L all these notes like that. How do I do this? Tools, quick chop. And get a maybe like a guitar or like a bass sound. Let's see. Let's go to guitars. Let's go ahead and play with the envelope. Octave up. Octave up again. I'm going to take every other note and just lower the volume. We can do more release. We can do we can go an octave up too. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go ahead and break up the, the MIDI. So I'm gonna control and drag over and grab all these notes right here. See, cause I like the way that sounds. about an octave up here. Let's cut these off. Octave up again. Control L again. Octave up again. Control L. And maybe we can do like a nice little roll down. That's on fire. Woo. 
Okay, now when I render this out and pitch it up, it should sound a lot better. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna bounce that out. Boom, that's our that's our that's our final sample right there, bro. Let's go ahead and do drums, man. We can actually go ahead and just copy the bass line from the guitar. And then what I'm also gonna do with these 808s is I'm gonna go to the envelope knob and then play with it pretty much. Uh, just kind of gain complete control, turn the hole all the way up and everything all the way down. So I can go ahead and do these kind of chops. These needs to be faster, so let's go one third. Maybe a little roll right here. Let's go with a faster roll. Put the volume down on these kind of bottom notes here. One third. And then we can just control and just bring those over again. And I'm gonna add some saturation to this. There we go. Inverted increment, 0.5. Now let's add the octave higher version just to, to get some high end in there. 13 doesn't matter. Add a stereo shaper to this. Add a little bit of reverb. And have it moving from left and right. And with that being said, that's the entire beat. That's the sample, those are the drums. We got so many things coming. We have a contest coming in the new year. We got drum kits, we got one shot kits coming out very, very soon, either this week or the beginning of next. Um, yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, gang gang. <laughs>